The whole time that I imagined you awake, guiding me through everything, I was relying on you to be my strength. And now I realize that I have to depend on myself, which is what you tried to teach me, even if you were only in my head. But what I do know is that I'm getting out of Shady Brook. I would give anything to take you with me. Thank you. I'm supposed to believe you're crying in your beard because you missed me? Yeah, I'm supposed to believe that you're just here because Lulu needs me? If you missed me so much, you could have emailed, phoned, or sent me one of those cute little shrunken heads. Have you checked your messages lately? Maybe your old man has tried to contact us while we were in the slammer. Maybe he's got me free to come back across the board. No calls. Well. And I don't believe your sudden rush of romance. I think you're just covering because I caught up with you. Pumpkin. Popsicle. Popsy. <laughs> come on. You think that I'm just taking advantage of you because of your undying devotion? Actually, I think you're an opportunist without conscience and that I was a fool to ever express anything but contempt. Well, that's just your guilt talking. My guilt? I'm not the one sitting south of the border, swilling tequila and flirting with floozies. I had a great adventure planned for us and you bailed on me, wife. Two days on the road and I was done. I require indoor plumbing and edible food, room service even. I'm more high maintenance than you. So I came home where the plumbing works and the food is in fact edible. No hidden agenda. Well, I just wanted us to find something out on the road there together that was about us. I don't know what you see when you look in the mirror. I'm a realist. That's why we're a doomed pair. What a great team. What a great team. So. Ah, it's so hard writing down what I feel. They asked me to write down my feelings, but when I read it, it's just, it's so stupid. Spinelli gave me a poetry book. Maybe I could get some inspiration from that. I could read it to you, too. I'll be right back. Emily Dickinson. Walt Whitman. I don't know what kind of poetry you like. Ugh. <laughs> wrote so beautifully about love wanting it and losing it did I tell you that Johnny plays piano first time I heard him play I always say it was like singing into his soul I don't know if I could ever be that brave expressing myself no, I'm not going to do this. I know you. You would not want me to cheat. No cribbing off of Emily Dickinson. I will find my own words. See? I still feel you with me. I hope you feel me too, Mom. I love you. Good night. Happy hour. They're a little dry over here. Make it two. Oh, now that's what I like to hear. That's wonderful. There's nothing like a little debauchery to bond husband and wife. You know, I have accepted you with all your faults, which are legion, including running away from home, meaning me. Oh, no, not you, sweetheart. Never you. Look. Whatever it gets too stifling for you, you create a drama to justify your skipping town. Woo! A lesser man would be dead if he treated his body the way you do. But a lesser man would never have had as much fun as I've had. 
On the road? Away from me? No, you're the most fun of all. Tracy, you've spoiled me for everyone else. Other women bore the pants off me. Unfortunate choice of words. With all of your scheming and nagging, you are utterly irresistible. Whoever was blackmailing me was in here, Mom. They had to be. I found this note inside the notepad that I left on your bed. This person is just trying to mess with my head. They, they want me to go crazy. Just wanted you to feel some remorse. Scott, of course it was you. You're the only one who would want to torture me. Torture you? What about my son? Lulu, he loved you, and you killed him. I should know better than to drink with you. Something terrible always happens. Terrible is relative, my pizza with two in your pie. Here, have another. Oh, no, boss. Oh, that was a tragic waste. You know what? That's disgusting. You have cost me a lot in misery and money. You lie, you cheat, you make messes, and my family eats you. Oh, I love them. I absolutely love them. We've been had. We've been had. That dirty old goat. Who? Who, Edward? Edward, he's not gonna call. Know why he's not gonna call? Cause he's finally got you and me out of his hair. Well, that's a predictably paranoid statement, but it is perfectly plausible point. <laughs> oh, pretty good. That's good, right? Uh, but um, you're right, Daddy has left us high. Uh, <laughs> and that's so dry. <laughs> All right, well, there's no point here in waiting for a call that's never going to call. So, come, wife, to the border. Lulu, I want justice for my son. And this is how you get it by stalking me in a mental hospital? I want you to think about what you did. For a long time, that's all I could think about. How sorry no, I am. No, You're not sorry that Logan died. You're sorry that Johnny, your boyfriend, was arrested. No, that is not true. Logan cared about you. He was in love with you. When you clubbed him and put him in a coma, he woke up, he made excuses for you. So I know that that night in question, he was not there to hurt you. You meant to kill no, him. No, that is, no, you're wrong. That was an accident. No, it's no accident that my son is dead. There's no accident that I don't have a son anymore, that I don't get to watch him grow up and, and have a family and have kids and meet the, the right girl. You know why? Because he's in the ground and you put him there. So you know what? You're, you're going to have to pay for this. There is going to be justice, and you will get a lethal injection, and that's what's going to happen. Not my daughter, you son of a bitch! 